Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little short video on what's been going on with my girls. Two of my girls have ended up being egg bound. I knew nothing about this before getting chickens. I had no clue what was going to be in involved in me raising chickens and my two blue cuckoo morans are now a little over five months old and they are ready to start laying eggs but i got to noticing the other day that they were acting strange they were acting weird they kept squatting down and so i started looking at videos and sure enough i found these videos about being egg bound so i started looking at my girls and this is one of the things they said look at their vent i know it's a little nasty but this is how you know and if it's pulsating and then they have this white stuff that's coming out they are egg bound and you have to take care of it pretty quickly or you can lose your chicken within 24 to 48 hours. So you know it freaked me out as a chicken mama. I got really worried. So I en employed my whole crew, my best friend and my daughter's like, come help me. We've got to do something with these chickens. So you have to soak your babies in an Epsom salt bath for 15 to 20 minutes. And after you do that, you need to put them in a place by themselves and let them calm down and keep them overnight. Yeah, this was not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> they really do not like water. Chickens don't like water. And I had to literally hold her down. And I did both. This is Caroline here. I had to do Caroline and Delilah. I did them on two different days because it was a lot. But you hold them down, give them a spa bath basically, and then hopefully the egg will pass. If the egg does not pass, you have to go to step two, which is literally taking mineral oil and putting it in their vent. So I did get the mineral oil and I did get a syringe and I just prayed I did not have to go to that step and thank you Jesus, I didn't. So after soaking both of my girls, they were both able to lay their eggs and I was so happy. Now Caroline did lay a soft shell egg two days after I soaked her or day and a half ish. Um, her first egg was soft shell. So after that, then a couple days later, she laid a hard shell egg. And then I soaked Delilah a few days later and her first egg actually was a hard shell egg, which is what you saw at the very beginning of the video. I actually caught her laying the egg on film. I couldn't believe it. I had just walked out of the room and come back and there the egg was. I was so shocked. But both of my girls now are okay. They've had their spa days. They're now laying the eggs. I was just so excited when I first seen the egg. When I walked outside and opened up the coop and found the first egg, I screamed. I literally probably scared half the neighborhood because I was so excited. I got an egg. <laughs> so out of my 12 babies, these are the only two that are actually producing eggs so far, but the other girls should start pretty quickly. Um, it just depends on their breed. Some breeds start around five months. Other breeds are a little later, six months or so. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on all the rest of my girls to make sure that we don't have to do this procedure again. I just, I never in my wildest dreams, I was going to have to be doing this kind of stuff with chickens. I just thought you got chickens, they laid eggs, you fed them, you watered them, and that was it. Boy, there's so much more to it. I am learning so much with the chickens, <laughs> but I'm having so much fun with them too. I wouldn't trade it for anything. guys from me and all 12 of my little ladies we want to say thanks for stopping by and watching our little update of our two egg bound chickens and the other 10 that are just happy and healthy 
<laughs> I'm so glad y'all were here. Appreciate y'all watching. And until next time, we'll see you later. Pwok, pwok. Ha, ha, ha.